An experimental gene therapy for a rare hereditary form of blindness is a step closer to reality. An FDA advisory panel voted unanimously yesterday to recommend approval of a groundbreaking treatment for people with a faulty gene that impairs vision. It would be the first gene therapy in the U.S. for an inherited disease. The retinal disorder, known as LCA, causes severe vision loss starting in childhood. 27 of 29 patients in the clinical trial saw functional improvements in their sight. 17-year-old Christian Guardino had the procedure four years ago. He and his mother, Beth, say it's given him a new life. I've been kind of seeing new things and experiencing new things. And just like a four-year-old is still learning how to use his vision properly, I'm still learning how to use it today. It, it, it's it's been life-altering. I mean, completely life-altering for I, in every sense for him. Our Dr. David Agus is here with how this treatment could be a new frontier in treating genetic disorders. Good morning. Good morning. So exciting. How does this gene therapy work, this treatment? It's pretty amazing. You know, you inherit two chromosomes, one from the mother, one from the father. In this case, one of the parents had a mutation and its protein or gene didn't work. And so they inherited a faulty one from each parent. So here they take a virus and they put in a normal copy of the gene and they inject it into the white of the eye. And then literally days later, sight returns to most of the people in the trial. And it's an amazing thing. I mean, this is the start of a new revolution. Now, I know this is cool for me to say, as I used a cool hashtag this morning, science fiction science. Because mm -hmm. it really is something we dreamed of and talked about for decades, but now it's happening. Is this CRISPR? No, so CRISPR corrects something that's already there. This is taking a normal one and putting it in to replace the function that was missing. I was stunned to read that the, the entire procedure lasts just 45 minutes, right? It, it, it affects just a, a small number of people, though, this mutation. What does this mean for other diseases when yeah. it comes to gene therapy? This is about 2,000 people in the United States, several thousand around the world. But there are another 500 disorders behind this where the people are developing treatments based on it. But one shot, and it's lasting up to four years now, Hopefully it's forever. So where does it get the gene that, it, that is the replacing gene? So we took a normal copy from a, you know, a, a normal individual. You and I have a normal copy of this gene. They right. took that out and they put it into a virus because a virus can deliver it to cells that are sitting there. And that virus delivers the cell, then it makes the protein that's missing, and the retinal cells can go back to having vision. Wow. What, and, and what does this mean in terms of the future of medicine? I think it means a lot. I mean, obviously, we can correct these genetic disorders, but, you know, you saw two months ago, now they've used the same technology to take immune cells out of a child and put them back in, and it attacks their leukemia. Mm -hmm. So we're at the forefront of a next stage of medicine, which is rewriting the code for good. Are these for only single gene disorders? So this is for single gene disorders. Yeah. And, you know, there are a lot in like this cystic line. Cystic fibrosis, sickle cell. Yep, and there are going to be more down that road. And so uh, uh, the Lorenzo's oil one, that was you know, the next one that's coming down the road. Wow. And this is very costly. Hopefully the price will go down. I hope so. Thank you. Dr. David Agus, always good to see you.